You can now file your taxes on time. The IRS is clearing up some confusion after advising taxpayers to wait to file their tax returns. The agency now says it's decided not to tax most state stimulus checks from 2022, which had prompted that delay. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus joins me live now for more on that and some other top business headlines. Alexis, wait, don't wait. What's going on? <laughs> we finally got some guidance from the IRS, and it's good news for a change. So a week after telling some taxpayers to delay filing their returns. With eligible residents who filed their 2021 taxes by September 5th, set to receive the rebates by the end of this month. There are 3.2 million taxpayers in Virginia who are eligible for the tax rebates. The rebates will be delivered to eligible people by direct deposit or paper check to those who filed their 2021 taxes by November 1st. And the officials have clarified that the rebate will be used to fulfill any outstanding debt to certain government agencies or departments before given to people. And the U.S. Consumer Conference fell in October to the lowest level since July, as high borrowing costs and soaring inflation take their toll on household budgets. According to data released today, the Consumer Confidence Index slumped to 102 from a revised 107 in September. Economists were expecting a rating of 106.5, a reading above 100 signals that consumers have an optimistic attitude toward the economy. So consumer spending, everybody, which drives the U.S. economy, has remained strong since the start of the crisis, with high levels of goods purchasing during lockdowns, followed by robust spending on travel and dining once restrictions were lifted. But a global imbalance of supply and demand led to the current bout of decades-high inflation in the United States, which the Federal Reserve is trying to bring down through a series of jumbo-sized rate hikes, and that has turned and pushed up borrowing costs, adding to overall higher expenses for consumers, some of whom have already begun to rein in their spending. One economist told CNN News this week, notably concerns about inflation picked up again, with both gas and food prices serving as main drivers. Looking ahead, inflationary pressures will continue to pose strong headwinds to consumer confidence in spending, which could result in a challenging holiday season for retailers. Consumer-level optimism dimmed for not only the current economic period, but also who could come, what could come next for the next several months. Consumers also said they feel more p pessimistic about the labor market, with a lower share of respondents saying they believe jobs are plentiful. And while the job market has remained robust throughout much of this year and 2021, there have been some signs of cooling. In terms of big-ticket items, survey respondents said they plan to spend less on travel over the next six months, but reported higher intentions to buy homes, appliances, and cars. Now, the latest CPI report also showed that inflation had seeped more fully into the services sector, where prices and price hikes are harder to fall. Stubbornly high inflation has prompted the Federal Reserve to take aggressive action, raising its benchmark interest rate by 3.25 percentage points in six months. And prices started to skyrocket early in 2021 and have hovered around 40-year highs for the past several months. In September, the CPI index, which measures the change in prices, was also 8.2% higher than the previous 12 months before. As we can see, President Biden should definitely do more for the American people and send out stimulus payments. With spending more than the government brings in, the government simply... $800 million in inflation relief checks are here. The lawmakers, everybody, are making huge progress on this next round of stimulus. The people can actually qualify and receive this stimulus check. So, folks, many people actually qualify for this relief payment. And if you want to get the stimulus check, then be sure to subscribe because you'll be getting it very soon. And now the California governor, Gavin Newsom, has already called for the federal government to investigate the recent spike in uh, natural gas prices. As a family is experiencing the soaring gas utility bills, things are getting out of hand in Congress. Now, this only means one thing, folks. In a letter to the Federal Energy Regulation Committee, the governor has requested that the agency immediately focus its investigatory resources on accessing whether market manipulation is happening, anti-competitive behavior, or other um, things are driving up activities, like the uh, soaring inflation and the elevated gas prices in the gas markets. Right now, we know that additionally, millions of Americans will soon see relief from the high utility bills, folks, with credits of 90 to 120 showing up on gas and electric bills as soon as this month. Right now, last Thursday, the Public Utilities Commission voted to accelerate the California Climate Credit just to help California families pay the high gas bills. But the $90 to $120 will be applied to residential utility customer bills. 
Now, starting from on a formula which considers your income in 2020, how many dependents you have, and what the Franchise Tax Board knows about you. So, if you already got a Golden State stimulus check last year by direct deposit, your stimulus will come to you between October 7th and 25th. Everyone else will get their direct deposit between October 28th to November 14th, so long as their banking information. A very big important day is coming up for many Americans. Democrats and Republicans are finally coming together to propose new legislation. Several proposals have been proposed in Congress, and these new plans will provide low-income households with at least one bonus stimulus check. After nearly 100 consecutive days of falling gas prices, fuel costs have spiked in recent weeks. And this time, the price increase coincides with the lead-up to the midterm elections, and the trend could determine which party gains control of Congress. The approval rating of President Biden which is an indicator of Democrats' election for prospects, has also tracked closely with gas prices. In conjunction, within months, long falls in prices from their summer peak, Biden's approval has surged. And since the increase in prices took hold two weeks ago, Joe Biden has risen 1.1 percentage points in approval ratings. Joe Biden also announced moves that aim to address the oil supply shortage behind the cost spike, including a scheduled release of millions of barrels of oil from the nation's strategic petroleum reserve. But the price of gas and the recent movement of that price varies dramatically across key midterm states, in some states like New Hampshire and Pennsylvania. Prices have already been increased or even fallen over the last month. In Arizona, a swing state host to highly contested races for governor and senate, the price of a gallon of gas stands at $4.40 a figure roughly 15% higher than the national average of $3.82. According to AAA, moreover, the price of gas in Arizona has risen more than 8% over the past month. In Wisconsin, where a high-stakes Senate race could determine which party holds a chamber, the price of a gallon of gas stands at $3.67 gallon. While that, fight, while that price falls below the national average, it reflects a recent surge of more than 5% over the past month. To address the gas prices, the Democratic candidate, the state lieutenant governor, says on his campaign that he would end government subsidies for oil and gas companies, which he claims have enabled high profits. And the state with the highest gas prices could determine which party remains control of the House of Representatives. Gas prices in California stand at $5.83 a gallon, which puts the, which puts the, about the average national, which puts the price about 52% higher than the national average. That price has spiked nearly 8% over the past month. In responding to these increases, various members of Congress introduced bills to send direct aid to families to bring down gas costs. Mike Thompson, John Lauren, and Layson Underwood all released a proposal everybody that would offer a $200 gas credit for $100 to qualifying households who live 